Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na country Sunday, Monday, number 16 day for this month of January 2022. My name is Kapo Daniel. I am the Deputy Defense Chief and the Anti Kidnapping Czar of the Ambazonian Defense Forces, the ADF, and the spokesperson of the Ambazonian Governing Council, the Egg of C. Una welcome to our daily podcast, a program where we bring una the truth, meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as we work for this journey to our freedom, the independence of Ambazonia. Good people of Ambazonia at home and abroad, from refugee camp to IDP camps and to the concentration camps of La Republic to Cameroon. Today, number 16 day for January, it is marked exactly six years where Ambazonia uprising it be start. The rising way Kojidinka and Pa for Ngala for it be call say Ambazonia rising, Ambazonia rising to fall no more, respectively. For this day, Two, six years ago, now the day we, the Abhor Committee, where it will be created by Paul Bia B. Vondo through its territorial administration, Mr. Rene Sadi, led by an Ambazonian son born from Bambalang, Fondop, one Mr. Paul Gogomo, where it be at that time attaché for La Republic, their presidency, for special duties, whatever that may be. They behold them for gate meeting, our lawyers, they be the complain. Teachers they be the complain, market people be the complain, all civil society it be done rich for their neck. The suffering from the symptoms of a recolonized territory for Ambazonia. After the teachers they be the complain, the lawyers they be the complain, they be joined together for form the consortium. The consortium it will be six years ago in session for dialogue with La Republic to Cameroon. For that very meeting for upstation, they will hold them by force. Say they must sign book them, say they will negotiate separately. Gogomo, poor Gogomo, if we bring money for back, for famously hand and for Tassan Wifred, Tassan Wifred, where we be the elected representative of all the schools them, they are cut to, their own organization, their trade union. They will reject bribery and corruption, and they will insist, say they must negotiate and dialogue with the Republic to Cameroon as one people of Ambazonia territory, where they be the column that time, say Anglophones them. As a result, for that fateful evening, for the 15th day for January, they be denied for leave them. Me, they no go back for their house. They hold them for upstation. Our population, they come off for back. All our boys, them for ground. Then rally, then go for upstation. For go find out what did happen with our representatives, then where did they represent the problem, the way our people, then be the suffer. John Frundi, be be one of those who they be run. They be go rich for day for upstation. Commission meeting went past midnight. The angry population rose up again and went burning tires, blocking roads, burning three vehicles at the customs department, with two belonging to elections Cameroon. The massive gun shooting and use of tear gas brought Mr. Ben Muna and Nijan Frundi to the governor's office with their reasons. Here because the whole town is blocked, Hello, and the whole town is blocked yeah. uh, conditions that uh, and help teachers and the negotiating team here hosting. So I came to see for myself. I've come, I've seen that they were still there doing their work under normal conditions and nobody was held hostage. I came. So at that early stage, would I go feel here had no have frundi it be the talk already with connie for come defend la republic will be all know say they be whole all the representative for the consortium and the various trade unions hostages paul gogomo it be denied say they nothing come off for day on to the sign so they will negotiate a separate separate group them where they be denied say no we'll be in a one territory and we must negotiate as one when i hear how frundi it become for day he can't talk it is denied say they no be hold them hostage but where they be done sleep for day overnight so at that early stage, when I see the signs them said the man it be the work now for La Republic, we've been a stooge for Paul Bia. When I listen again, the whole town is blocked. Hello, please. And the whole town is blocked. Yeah. Uh, conditions hey. that uh, uh, can help teachers and the negotiating team here hosting. So I came mm. to see for myself. I've come, I've seen that they were still there doing their work under normal conditions and nobody was held hostage. I came. 
So we all know that Nijon Frundi was lying on behalf of Paul Bia to calm down our population, not to fight for their right. What had happened was that Dickin Tassan Wilfred was held after he refused to receive bribe to withdraw from the consortium and represent the teachers as a separate group. He was held at night and was not allowed until that morning. So Frundi was a liar and he was working for La Republic. And Ben Muna, who spoke the truth, had this to say that fateful evening. You verify one of them came out and seemed to verify one of them came out and seems to be discussed. And then for the time being they work. I trust him. I can now leave calm that they are not under any molestation or being held against their wish. Chairman Ben Muna's take on federation. People who talk about democracy must understand that if it is the best form of democracy, if they don't understand, they need to go back to school. It's the best form of democracy. His call to the president of the republic. The president can say what he wants. He doesn't make it. He's not God. He doesn't make it. The president of this country better wake up to the real fact. This country was united by a PBC. It was not one and indivisible. It was united by the will of the people of the South Cameroon, not by the will of any other person. What about the youths championing the cause? The future is theirs. I'm 77. Mine is gone. I may die tomorrow. If they don't fight, our fathers will come from the graves to fight for them. They have a right to fight for it. The better fight, man. The better bloody fight. No liberty is gained by lying down and allowing people to walk on you. And the students held back at home? Let them lose one year of school and get a better future. What are you talking about? Let them lose two years and get a better future. What? So that is what happened that started this, our liberation movement, on that very fateful day, January the 15th, 2017, after years of protest by lawyers and everybody in his own anger, finally the climax came when Paul Gogomo was accusing the consortium and civil society who wanted to negotiate as a theme, that because they want to negotiate as a theme, as one people, which they were one people, as even their own national dialogue have confirmed that they are one people, even by saying that they give us special status, they have confirmed that we were one people and we were right. Because they refused, Paul Gogomo refused, he put out a declaration that was a declaration that brought about this war. Paul Gogomo and Ambazonia was the first traitor that pulled the trigger on behalf of La Republic to Cameroon by declaring that the Ambazonian civil society, the consortium, the teachers, Cactu, the market people who came up, the, the buy and sell them who came up, the taxi driver, the lawyers who wanted to speak as one man because they were suffering from the same problem. Paul Gogomu Mengo declared as the chairman of the APHO community that the leaders of the civil society, they have a hidden agenda and they do not want to negotiate or dialogue while they were actually negotiating and dialogue. He also cited the declaration or the demand for federation by the, by the lawyers which were now being pushed as uh, the, the consortium as a declaration of cessation. And he made a recommendation through that declaration. The Cameroon Minister of Territorial Administration at that time, René Sadi, used that opportunity to ban the consortium and also ban SCNC, which was a peaceful group that was challenging La Republic to Cameroon through the peaceful means, banning them, thereby rejecting Ambazonia's right to come together, which is an internationally recognized right, even by the Constitution of La Republic, to be able to participate organize ourselves and present our grievances, thereby criminalizing our identity, our nationalism, and advocacy for the protection of our human rights. The banning of the consortium triggered La Republic du Cameroon law enforcement officers and colonial officers to descend upon the leaders of the consortium and civil society, thereby considering them as terrorists and people who are fighting to destroy their so-called one and indivisible Cameroon. Teachers, lawyers, and students who thereby were considered as terrorists for protesting along these lines were tortured, maimed, killed down, and butchered down. And the ADF of the Egg of Sea 
decided to declare and invoke the right of self-defense and launch their fight against La Republique du Cameroon, which Paul Biabi Vondo then responded with a full declaration of war against the people of Ambazonia. Six years down the line, La Republique du Cameroon have been reminded by the international community that they cannot fight and suppress a people who stands on the basis of their nationalism an internationally recognized border. That war will fail, and today, La Republic du Cameroon have been brought to the reality of Ambazonia. Six years after, we have made our territory ungovernable by the colonial administration. We have internationalized our liberation struggle. We have reached the point of recognition. Parliaments in Europe have recognized our people's rights to self-determination, and today, Ambazonia is asserting its self-governance by the ACLA, the Ambazonian Liberation Transitional Authority in Ground Zero. As we mark this six years in liberation and resistance war against La Republic to Cameroon, La Republic have suffered its greatest blow against Ambazonian liberators and freedom fighters. In Manfe, the main La Republic du Cameroon occupation terrorist base have been dislodged by a joint group of Ambazonian fighters and a classified legend that have joined them in carrying and mounting out this huge and successful attack that took place in Manfe. An entire Cameroon military barracks was brought to their knees, burned on the ground. Six of their forces have been captured. They are resisting, they have been resisting arrest and the rest shall be history. Our fighters came out of the attack with huge cache of weapons, both machine guns and bullets that we can only dream of having. It's a wonderful victory from Ambazon for Ambazonia and it comes with uh, pictures these days of the attack that the ADF Bamenda Brigade carried out on Bengui Road. The vehicles, two armored cars that were hit, we have now received images of those vehicles from our connections that have been monitoring La Republic du Cameroon Charter. Six La Republic du Cameroon troops died in that particular attack. We are still to get the number of, of La Republic terrorist forces that were neutralized in Manfe. According to report from the from the forces who are still in a, in a combat mode, at least 16 La Republic du Cameroon military have died in that attack. Video footages on social media as well have shown La Republic du Cameroon walking around that particular uh, environment with bullets wounds everywhere. It's a big victory, big victory for Ambazonia, a wonderful week for Ambazonia. We have also seen video coming from General Nyi in Boyo of the United Forces in uh, in Boyo taking out an armored car using an IED attack. La Republic du Cameroon is suffering big blows. A thousand cuts will bring the elephant to its knees. We must continue to strike the enemy as hard as we can. We are calling all Ambazonians. Please, if you are hearing this voice today, please make sure you donate to the operations that we are planning to carry out in Manfe, in Meme, as well as in Dian. There is an urgent need of money to buy weapons that are available for our units in that area. There are 10 AK-47. If you want to buy an AK for them, please reach out to our press secretary, Mr. Lucas Asu Mamawali, our OGC, for, 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 for them to process your, your phone. And please send back your receipts to me or pictures of your receipts to me for, for me to acknowledge and thank you for that. We really need that phone urgently. We must, we must equip ourselves and we must carry this struggle to where it matters the most everything is ready and good to go only the only thing lacking now are, are funds we must fight to free ourselves from colonialism and from cameroon occupation and terrorism the frustrated cameroon have doubled their terrorist attack against our innocent civilians while our brave ambazonian liber uh, liberators and freedom fighters have focused their attacks on legitimate la republic to cameroon terrorists the cameroon military that was attacked in boyo in coming returning back in, in, into Bamenda, they opened fire on a civilian vehicle, killing two passengers. Video images have emerged on social media. Yeah. Uh, passenger this way, military killer, Mr. Yeah. 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 The video footage shows a vehicle a clando vehicle 
Suzuki that have been shot on the screen. There was no sign of gunmen or that vehicle posed no threat to the occupation terrorist forces of La Republic. And this once more showed the barbaric nature and the evil nature and the imminent threat each Cameroon occupation terrorist forces pose to our innocent civilians. We must do everything and anything we can to take away them and end this imminent threat that emits from these terrorist occupation forces from Cameroon. Also in uh, Bambili, where it's a student town, more and more footages are coming up to show what our students have been testifying of regular harassment by La Republic du Cameroon terrorist gendarmes that have occupied that area. Pictures from social media shows regular routine of how gendarme officers will come out with patrol car, meet our students on the road, seize their identity card, colonial identity card, put them in their pockets until they will pay a huge sum of money, harass them. Sometimes students who are girls are taken into vehicles, driven to unsafe locations and raped by the Cameroon Turks. Thousands of our citizens with unknown story of harassment from the Cameroon occupation forces have been going through this pain for the past 60 years and we must document them so that justice will be done at the end of the day. We are reminding of our people who have returned back from La Republic, who had fled into La Republic, away from the forces of Cameroon within our territories running away from this war, who have returned back to join everybody to follow and observe the Monday ghost town. It is sacrosanct, no Benzikin. Our forces today will be on patrol to enforce and reinforce the ghost town on Monday. We have spotted in Bamenda town three places where Puff Puff have been sold on Monday. God forbid, if Yusuf Yudan decide for begin violate the people's ghost town for Monday, when now only one day where people they, they sacrifice for Shidon for house, so you won't go make puff puff that kind of thing where you know if you hide them. No, say now Yusuf you don't call honey for your house. Now Yusuf you don't call honey. Go Monday ghost town, everybody stay at home. No be day self for clean up campaign. That day for prayer for all the people they didn't kill and wait poor beer and he, he cohort them and he click they don't kill them for Ambazonia. Now they for show the world so we want separation. We don't want anything other than independence. Make all money respect and he honor this day for Shidong for house. We the talk for all man. Picture day for person way they the use it now way now talk say go start for front for begin collect build them for a neo. The power at the talks on a power they stay for inside a Baptist convention area area day for for Nguyen. But had the stay for inside a CBC compound, for church for inside CBC compound, I didn't be one way that they use them for sending me work, I collect build them, for give build them for Eneo, for inside in, for inside in Damon Kong Street and all area then for inside Bamenda. I they put them outside, I will put the pie picture up, make it she don't find, make it think very well the consequences for your action. And make this one it be an example for everybody where the work I collect bill it work a send bill for for snake for eneo and for kamwata after they nobody yet pay their liberation tax say they do them they, they violate the law of the land and they go face consequences for such violation including their workers and where they still go for work me they know say they go face the consequences for work for company the way they never pay their liberation tax any man where they sell water public water again will they send this message for them you cannot sell public water. Now, our public, they own them. Now, our society, they own them. If the water is boss, pipe is boss, we go repair them. We say, self, we don't call all landlord, all landlords, me then collaborate with all quarter head them for do repairs and for carry up the civil duty for all our quarter them for Ambazonia. Even if pipe bob, we will boss, we will fix them. When I notify, we will go send people, then they will go mobilize our civilian, then me then fix them. So no public water will be sold in Ambazonia. It is forbidden and it is banned. If you did for that business for sale water, or you even the whole key for lock, where they don't lock public tap, no say you violate our law and the law of the land, it will fall for your head. So me all must stand more as we fight for resist Cameroon occupation and continual colonialism until victory is ours. Capo Daniel signing off.